Yeah, all right, we're gonna head back into War of the Spark Sealed. We are one and one with this Citadel Sultai deck, and we took a pause on Friday, but we're gonna pick it up now. And I wanna thank my sponsor, Card Kingdom. Here, I'm gonna bring them back. There they are, there's that logo, sponsored by Card Kingdom. Cardkingdom.com has everything you need for your magic hobby. Whether you're constantly keeping up with standard, modern, getting old stuff, speculating, trading, getting some limited product to do sealed with your buddy, whatever it is, they basically have everything. That's kind of their thing, is like if they don't have it, they pay a lot to get it so that they can have everything. And they, it becomes your one-stop magic shop. It is for me. Oh, um, I'm gonna, the, the, I had a, uh, here's something that, uh, that Card Kingdom has done that's useful for me that I wanted to share. It's a, it's a, uh, a box hack that may be useful to you all. Hold on one second. So anybody with a, reasonable magic collection ends up needing storage for it and you frequently end up with card boxes, right? Well, they they come unassembled usually and so you have to assemble it. And usually the lid is the easy part, right? And you struggle with the uh, to you know the contortions to, to put the center divider in and flap the things down and have it not fall apart, right? Well, I was at Card Kingdom and I bought boxes and they showed me a trick. And the thing is you uh, build your lid first. The lid's really easy, right? And then I'm gonna, even, I'm gonna undo this one. I love this trick, so I'm gonna show it to you. So like normally you end up with uh, with this kind of mess, right? Well, if you use the lid, you put the partially assembled box into the lid, and it it keeps its it keeps its form. So then it's really simple from there to put in your divider and put it down. So anyway, that was a really cool handy trick. And now making boxes is easy. Make your lid first and then assemble the rest of the box using your lid as a stabilization thing for the rest of the box. There you go. See? Card Kingdom. Thank you, Card Kingdom. I know I don't fear making boxes anymore. One sec here. Good morning, Queen. All right, we don't have a uh, turn to skydiver or anything, but we have a nice uh, reaver into eventual nurture into these, hopefully. Pretty solid keep at any rate. Hey, Colin. Oh, sorry. Uh, might not... Where did the chat window go? Oh, I think we cut it off. We tried turning it off for a little bit because um, there was some question about whether it was worth having there. I'll put it back for now, but uh, still need to fiddle with that. Also, apparently my my tool that automatically captures the song name and title uh, is not working, so got to figure that out too. It's a uh, ongoing. QA problem of streaming. All right. So uh, we have Evolution Sage, but we're just going to do Toll here. It'll make this a 2-2 attacker, and we hopefully cut off their big plan. Big plan. Uh, they do have a forest, and then they're going to have three, and they can Reeve, Death Sprout, Stinger. Don't really care about the Stinger, although it eventually takes that Hydra, I suppose. It's a lot of removal. It's a pretty nice hand. 
Band together plus stinger is trouble. Maybe we just take the stinger here and uh, yeah, Angrath is is uh, is real. I'm gonna go stinger though. I'm not sure that was right. I just feel like uh, we can pressure the Angrath with. Uh, we need a land, but if we get a land, we can pressure the Angrath in the air. That was my th thinking. And that, yeah, leaving them with just the Reaver here to play is solid. Oh, good. And we found this. Unfortunately, let's see. I guess we're going to go... If we go Evolution Sage Forest, the they can't trade with the army token, and the Evolution Sage be kind of comes uh, must-kill. No, this we are uh, finishing up sealed. In fact, oh, the, the, the record is wrong, but everything else is correct. Let me fix that record in a second. Here, I'll just do it now real quick. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I kind of want to bait their removal so that our fixing stays, because if this gets killed, this turns off these, and that's bad, and this is a, a lightning rod anyway. Right, they have, uh, well, they don't have the mana for it necessarily yet. We'll see if they found a fourth land. It could be over on that alone, which is one reason I took this. It's like, it gives us the out to Oppo just doesn't find land. Um, but we basically make them sack, a, you know, their army token to take out the Sage here. Like, we're, we're not giving them time to maneuver uh, they could use uh, oh prismite. Interesting. As I say, they could they could use they could justify band together, banding together to take out the sage. A little surprised they didn't do that. Yeah, I'm, I mean, like, it's not that I didn't think they were gonna like. Yes, they have multiple ways to kill the sage. Um. <clears throat> well, now band together does not kill the nurturer. Um, we'll offer the army token for the two of, for both of Oppo's creatures. If they want to take that, I think that's fine. Yeah, I didn't think they would. Now we're going to try the Nurturer. And hopefully the Nurturer lives. If it doesn't, we do have the finisher play. So next turn we attack. If they go land like Angrath... Uh, we can have a good finisher play. If they go ahead and take out the Nurturer, we are suddenly <clears throat> up against superior cards without our splash. So I'm really hoping we get to untap with the Nurturer, see if they try something else here. Yeah, we're a bit all in here, Queen. Uh, no, I did not see the Popper Bands. Apparently, Wizards has banned Gush, Daze, and Probe in Popper. What do you know? Even in Popper, blue is oppressively good. Perhaps especially. Okay, so they're leaving a uh, band together then. Or the Death Sprout. But they've let us... Uh, Untap. We're going to take advantage of that. Let's see. We got. We want to get that uh, Hydra or Skydiver down. Let's start with a Blast Zone. We can put Blast Zone on two to a pretty good effect. Uh, in fact, we could go Blast Zone on two and activate it right now if we wanted. But I think we scare the heck out of him with the Bio Essence Hydra, and then they snap. Uh, kill this out of out of concern whereas this is the one we really want to survive into the long game although they can kill both of these i mean they can't kill all of these um let's and i i want to cast this before they kill it like i don't want to go into combat and have them kill my nurture mid combat so i'm going to do this now Normally I would wait, but 
in case they decided wanted to come after the nurture, I wanted to be ready for that. All right, now they're willing to make this trade. It kind of turns off their uh, band together. All right, they want to keep the band together to what? I wonder why they decided to keep the prismite. Maybe they need to double... Maybe they have some sort of bomb that needs a double splash? No, well, that's certainly not that. Maybe they're just trying to... Okay, I see. They're trying to double up so they can uh, double up on the nurturer. Oh, they're going for the army token. Good. Understandable. That was proving to be a pain, but now all of their known removal is gone and we get to um, skydive. We might want to take out the twos before we do that, actually. Because uh, we can... Forest... Blast zone, uh, kill the twos, and then drop our two on the subsequent turn. Yeah, I was glad. I, I, they didn't. I mean, if they saw the nurture, the skydiver in our hand, they might take out the nurturer. Uh, but we can put another counter and blow it up and get in for. No, I guess we. Yeah, we can even. Yeah, it's true. I I do, but we can do that. I, I I like uh I like that play. We can even wait on it, right? Let's um I'm gonna no attack this and just plan on blowing up the twos here. Oh wait, I guess I um yeah, it'll take three turns before we play the skydiver. What do you mean? Oh, right, yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am... Um, maybe, so maybe this is too slow. I definitely wasn't thinking of that. I was thinking I would be able to blow it up now because I don't read my cards. Um, but I think we can still go... No, we get to go set it up, untap, blow it up, and then cast Skydiver. So it's... Yeah, it's not... It's. Uh, I, I should have read my card, but we're not in... It's, it's not as bad as that. You look like a worthy opponent. We'll do this together. Uh, we could also go to three if we just want to jang, but he's actually not that much of a worry here. We'll just go to two on um, blast zone. Oh, that's nice too. One, two, three, four. Can't do it all. Can't do this and blow up this. And I'm in, in on the blowing up plan, so we're going to go one, two, three. Blow that up, and then we can either get Zhang or cast the Skydiver. Right now, Oppo goes, play this, amass two, and make it a 3-3, three, three. and then 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 we can't really attack into it. So yeah, let's take a turn to kill Zhang. The Merciful Skydiver will, uh, will be good for us. We're trying to control here, just control the board, and then take over with these two, hopefully. Hopefully. Um... Okay, well, we get a two-spell turn, and it's a nice rip from Oppo. Darn it, let's see. We go attack Arlen, block with the 3-3. Three, three. We can play Finisher and Skydiver, and then... Uh... There's no way they let Nurture through, but we do take out a wolf and then have two things that can attack 
uh, threaten Arlen. So we keep putting off, but we get the Skydiver too. So yeah, I like that. We'll do that. We only get the Skydiver because we drew an island, so that's kind of lucky. Oh, I could have put the put the put it there. That, <laughs> but I, I kind of wanted it on the eye on the, on the skydiver. But again, didn't really consider that option. Should have. This is a very similar result, really. I I I, I should have at least considered that play, but I'm not unhappy with where we ended up. Go, my children, fight. And yeah, now we have good attacks on Arlen that should take care of her. I mean, you can make Angrath, but then we can attack him instead. We can decide what to do here. If you want it, fight for it. Okay. If I want it, fight for it, you say. Well, what do we want and what do we want to fight for? Probably sending... Let's see, if we send Nurturer, it can get double blocked and just trade for an army token. If we send the Finisher, it trades with either one, but that's fine. Uh, if, and Skydiver gets to go after something. And if we wanted to, um, if we wanted to proliferate, we could make it a 3-3 that takes out uh, any of the Planeswalkers we want. Um, so I think I like Proliferate, we can do that in instant speed. I'm gonna attack with everything. And let's go, What's what do we want for sure dead? Probably, uh, yeah, Angrath needs to go, huh? Let's get Skydiver after Angrath and Finisher and Nurture after Arlen. Trains in the storm wreck sea, I go. Brave now, pup. Well, see if we can race this. Uh, that's not bad for uh, racing help. We can go Epiphany. Now, let's just go uh, Lich and Snare Spinner, and then next turn we will. Uh, cast Epiphany, and do we let Arlen create another wolf token? None of that has Trample. Um, yeah, it's a 2-2 two -two wolf, which is not the worst. So I think we just attack face... And we're going to try to win this through having enough blockers on the ground. Yeah, 4-5 is better than 5-4. I'm, uh, I think that's just a fact now. <laughs> like, when I think about limited and, and how useful a 4-5 is versus a 5-4, I want a 4-5 every time. Let nature guide you. Now we have... Ugh. Are you kidding me? An Orboreal Grazer is going to be the difference maker? I say that because it can, it can chump for a turn. Let's see. Well, I haven't quite done the math, but all we can do here is... Uh, in this case, trade. I think we trade and... I think we trade and take because uh, we want to we want to chump for a greater life prevention. And right now we'd be chumping to save five. Whereas if we take five and wait, we can chump to save six. So we'll do this. Pro 
Prowler seems solid. Uh, can we cast it? We didn't play land yet this turn, right? So we can cast the Prowler. And we can keep Mowu and ditch the lands. We can even uh, cast Mowu, but I like Prowler. Then we have extra blockers and one that, uh, in fact, takes out that. We'll see if they want to uh, do their chump now. If they're smart, they wait. Yeah, you want to wait. If I had made, if I had had four, then I think you have to chump. But it didn't change the clock at all to choose to chump there or not. And for the same reasons I chose not to chump, I think they chose not to chump because the skydiver might be a four power here in the future. Uh, here, I think we have to take out. The 5-5, five, five, uh, if if they couldn't proliferate, it might be worth locking in elsewhere. But I think, again, what we're going to hold on chumping the other stuff and start with this trade. If I double block the token, they uh, just pro proliferate and then it, it ends up being this, the same thing. Yeah. Now uh, the proliferate is really annoying because that 4-4 just gets bigger and bigger. But with Mowu and the Nurture and the Snare Spinner, we at least threaten to uh, significantly mess with their other stuff. And with and we get to... Uh, we can tap the Nurture here and actually uh, proliferate. That, that's fine. Um, I'm going to start with this. And we attack, and we can decide on proliferate based on whether or not they decide to block here or not. It might not even really matter. Again, we're, uh, you know, it doesn't change the clock. But it does make it so that any creature is lethal. Interesting question here. I'm going to leave the Nurturer up, though. It doesn't really change the combat math to do it there, and having another blocker might be relevant. Now we can also consider Mowu plus Nurture on the 4-4, and this 4-4, and then even with a Proliferate, it dies. And uh, the spinner can handle yeah, that. So we can also go... Yeah, if we do this, they can proliferate and it gets out of reach. So we're going to do this. I was pausing, debating, blocking, chumping with this Nair Spinner on the Hulk. Uh, there may be a couple of ways we can just lose out of the blue from here. What do you think they're doing, Banana? You think we're gonna get we get get got here? Definitely an argument for. Oh, sorry, it's on me for uh, snare spinner on the Hulk. Now they got a couple chumps, so we need some action. Oh, and I forgot to... Uh, I'm lucky they didn't put the Nurture first. It makes sense that they didn't, but... Hey, that's some action. And it's even got uh, the old tramples. Which is to say, it gives, gives our Merfolk Skydiver trample. That's kind of a perfect draw.
Yeah. Huh. It's not great for you, you know that, right? Maybe they forgot the snare spinner can do what it does? Maybe it's a trick and we're dead, yeah, could be. I think they just forgot the snare spinner. All right, Oppo made a little bit of a fumble there, but I think it was a fumble, like we were in a good spot there. We had uh, that, that drawing, that four five, of course was critical, but it stabilized the ground. And I think the merfolk would have gotten through, or at least uh, Oppo needed to, to find some something to change the situation or we, uh, we were gonna get that one. Regardless of attacking into a reach, creature what kind of terrible player just sends in flyers into reach creatures i would never think something like that would even be possible corn dog is hustling thank you sir yeah i put it to a vote on friday and uh, since this is the paid account where we don't care about the uh gem ev we just decided to uh Set some gems on fire in the name of... Fun. Oh, did I miss a better attack? Yeah, Trample may have, uh, may have... I certainly didn't explore that line. I was just so intent to stay back fearfully on D there that I, I didn't really explore attacking on the ground. We have a turn three toll, but this is kind of laughing at us and uh, the perils of splashing and running colorless lands. Trouble is these aren't, these aren't doing all that much. Even if we find the green, like what's going on here, we're happy to just Make it 2-3 and a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, close one. I think I'm going to mulligan because I'm not even happy if we find a forest with, with where the hand is headed. Mm, definitely need us a swamp. We'll keep this. Mm. I don't keep in that because of the nurture. Oh yeah, we're playing that in this deck. All right, a little punished, but we were on a six hand. We're not, we're, we're not gonna throw that back. Pollen bright, really? Now you're like, hold on, guys, I'm right here. Uh, do we even? I mean, there's barely a reason to even play this. Uh, but I want to get on board. Well, I don't know about red green aggro. That's pretty aggro, this isn't, but, uh... We'll do what we can here. Do we offer a double block here? I don't want to lose the Nurture, but... Eh, maybe we can take one hit from Neheb and, and at least untap with some black mana available. Also, you know, this being sealed, it's like you play what your pool gives you. Might be red-green. Well, they're putting us to the test. I think this is a clean uh, trade based on their actions. Maybe they're just uh, hamming it up and they have a trick, but it seemed like they're saying we could trade the Nurturer for Neheb. But I'm going to take it here. I, I want to have... I want to untap and at least have black available to me uh, one turn. Uh, 
Not great. We'll throw out the Hydra, and it'll either... Even though I was like, hey, we get to untap with black. We're going to play the Hydra and threaten to trade that for the Neheb and see if Oppo is still interested or if they'd like to spend removal or the join together or band together. All right, we'll trade for a trick or Neheb. See what happens here. Obviously, for five mana, we would much prefer to trade for Neheb than a trick, but you do what you must. What'd they just do? Oh, they Nehebed. Is that right? Yeah. Got it. Well, let's see if they like their new four. Or did they take a... They ditched two? Oppo gets to peek. Uh, they get to laugh at us in our double and triple black. Look at that. How beautiful. I guess we toll now. Before that's... Not very useful. Greeting versus worm. Well, greeting eventually takes out that reaper, but worm eventually takes out us and we don't really have the tools for it. So we get rid of the worm. I see, they did a couple of cycles on with Neheb, understood. Um, we can't double block because we know about the greeting, so we just have to take all this. Ouch. Big ouch, and if we have a swamp on top, then we can maybe, maybe, no. So we gotta go Reaper. I think we're screwy. Um, we are screwed, I mean. We can go Reaper and have an activation. But then the chumping begins. Or we can go Reaper and Vivian's Grizzly and have no activation. We can Reaver and make a 2-2 two -two and a 1-2. Reaver and Grizzly. I think we'll go. Yeah, we gotta make we gotta make bodies. So let's go uh, Reaper and Grizzly. I don't think this is enough, but this is the most bodies we can put out there to defend ourselves. So let's see if this helps. I'm afraid that greeting picks off the grizzly and then we're in deep trouble. It's the double trample. It's seven points of trample that really hurts. If they can pump Saratok and Mowu at all. But we need to put four on them just to survive. Yeah, we're dead. Well, we had to mulligan and then the mana wasn't nice to us. And when big when green gets a big showing and you're stumbling on mana, you're in trouble in this format. All right, come on. This is not an amazing sealed deck, but I'd like to get halfway. I'd like to get to 50-50. I think we we're going to have trouble in that one with black, but it sure certainly would have helped. So would uh, another card. Extra card might have helped, too.
Well, I'm not surprised this queue is longer. It's the sealed queue at the end of its run. Gypsy Fever uh, noticing the long wait there, but we'll keep this despite much else going on, but double toll seems seems like we'll pick apart whatever they're doing. Too bad we're not on the play. All right, at least we get a uh, Reaver. That's nice. I was like, come on, not, not like this. Yeah, maybe we got a shot at that game. They had a nice hand, though. That's all I'm saying. Let's see if our opponent this time has a nice hand with their green, red Prismite deck. Is it the same opponent? Triumph, Twins, Fire Mage. Fire Mage can't come down next turn, so we can toll her next. And then Dreadhorde Twins can. And although this uh, Triumph takes out the Sage, so maybe we give them the Twins and take away their removal. So let's do Triumph into uh, removing Fire Mage. I'm going to attack with both. If they choose to trade for this army, we start to make another one next turn. Well, do we need to change our plans? I think maybe we don't. I'd rather uh, take out the Jaya and play around the endgame. I know it's it's it, it may come back to haunt us, but uh, that's that's my choice. Trouble is, we don't have we have no green. <laughs> Yeah, very similar cards, but I don't think it's the same oppo. Really, Shuffler? We have uh, seven forests and four swamps. You find us a swamp. Yeah, although, to be fair, as I said, we have seven forests. Like, we are pushing our mana with this deck... Uh, maybe we should take out that blast zone and put in another forest. Blast zone is nice, but so is casting all your spells. Not like we have a blast zone here, but hey, I could have held a land in anticipation of Sage, but we didn't. We're going to go... Guess Mowu here and save Sage from we actually have a land in hand. It's when. Oh, now we're in trouble. Although we did find a second forest, I uh, almost threw it out there because I'm so excited to have a worm to be able to handle the uh, very large army token that's coming. But maybe we won't even show them that now. Let's go Evolution Sage and uh, play the land. We can go... Yeah, Evolution Sage, play the land. Crunch first doesn't isn't going to do anything. Now, hopefully they commence now, and then we have a biggie to handle the army. Still a manageable situation when we drop this worm.
Oh, now we gotta do it this way. Again, was excited about the worm coming down, but I figured it out. Okay. No attacks, though. I kind of want to find our blue splash capability and then get like the uh, the, the merfolk. Yeah, I wanted I wanted you, but I specifically asked for uh, for blue mana first. I just want I want that to be clear. If we do find a blue source, though, then we start going off. Uh, we see if who finds their uh, stall breaker first. Yeah, I think this is we're top decking. We're both trying to break a stall. If they find some removal, if they take out this worm and maybe proliferate again or add to the army, we could be in trouble. <sighs> yeah, we got to keep proliferating. I was considering waiting to run lands out until we can get a counter on something else, but we can't do that. Zack wonders what's going on over there. There you go. That's what's going on over there. A bunch of massive things, but we still have, you know, math is for blockers, and if we become one, we'll do it. But right now, I'm just going to wait for them to figure out their attacks and then figure out how we block. We are in a spot where it's going to be tough for us to play around tricks, but their play patterns aren't suggestive of having them, so there's that. We'll just keep adding to our ground beef. When life gives you ground beef. Make tacos. So looking for a double block that allows us to uh, or is there any block here? Maybe we need to figure out what do we have that takes out Nahiri? Um, <clears throat> if we just take nine, we can come back the other way with, hmm, this gets eaten, Then, th but we could attack with these two. I think we just have to take this. I hear you. First strike. That's why I'm not blocking. Stop yelling. And it's only their turn, though. Oh, come on. Well. So we need, like, uh, if we put everything on it, it takes out the Lich and the army and then dies to the Wrangler and the Primordial. So, like, we probably have to just throw away our team. But I think I'll give uh, one more. It's, uh, it doesn't have Trample, so I'm going to uh, chump the Reaver. See if we can find actual removal. Although, do we even have any? I think that's one of the problems with this deck. Find removal. What, do you, what removal are you talking about, Ryan? Uh... Uh, Obnixilis. <laughs> right, so I think we're going to end up drafting again. And this sucks rocks, sucks gigantic effing rocks. Although uh, we could just chump. Let's, let's, uh, let's do a chump like so. And then actually I like uh, one for one in here by blocking this way. Uh, they, seven points of power is not enough to kill any two of these, so they need a trick for this not to be a one for one. So that's, how, that's why I'm making this block. Oh, shit. 
I mean, shoot. Math is hard. That's a punt. I was trying to avoid specifically that. No, I mean, that, that just killed us. Like, I was trying to... I was trying to make it a one-for-one one there and failed utterly, and now uh, now that's going to cost us any chance. I mean, we were up against it, but that was any, any chance. Like, if we had drawn an island here, uh, if we had an island here, then I could see us potentially uh, what happened. Like, let's say we'd done that correctly and we drew an island here. Then we get to go uh, skydiver, put a counter on it, and then next turn draw land and uh, go counter and uh, double proliferate to really pressure Nahiri. But uh, no, that one. And again, I guess we'll, we're gonna play it out because if we draw Obnixilis, uh, we, we, have some, we have some answers. So that was unfortunate, but we can still chump and draw Ob to not be dead dead here. But it's too bad because if we're not completely dead, even with that mistake, it means that we had some legit outs to uh, to actually coming back in this thing if I had just blocked right that last turn. Math. Yeah, I suppose I could have dug with Grizzly as well, find another chump. But since everything's likely to just be chumping anyway, uh, but let's go ahead and uh, look now before we decide our blocks at least. Okay, so now let's try and do this right. If we go uh, two of these on the army, ostensibly it works in a way that it didn't last time, because first strike takes out one of these, the other one lives to deal seven back. And then over here, we're going to have to throw the grizzly on um, get uh, Vitugazi. And then, yeah, if we find Obnix, we're not dead dead, and they don't have anything here. If they have a trick here, we're in big trouble. That's what I was trying to do last time. You are not helping. The flood is super real and, yeah, again, makes me super sad. Um... If we hadn't done that, it's their turn, though. We can offer the worm for the crunch. Actually, we can offer both for it. Let's do this. What I'm trying to do here is get rid of this first strike that's being so oppressive and uh, chump the 9-9 until we can try and get uh, this first strike done with. And then our blocks become okay again. But yeah, oh, this is really depressing because the fact that we're still making a, a game of it in the face of such a terrible block really makes me wish I had uh, solve that block better. We might actually have a chance here. And then you go minus six here, but we draw Obnix and we're not Wash dead. You like a roach. Obnix off the top for maximum regret. Or just dead. I'm sure Obnix was off the top. Well, tight play is hard in this set, but uh, adding small numbers up to seven is not that difficult. So, a little embarrassed about that. But, got some packs. You know, when you finish up a sealed and forget how much you paid to enter, uh, it feels like you made out great. Oh yeah, you know, 
I mean, if anything, streaming is reminding me to uh, not invest all of my ego into my magic skills. They are what they are, which is well above average, but not pro level, you know? I uh, I make I make mistakes that regular pros simply do not, and it's a huge bit. It's a huge chunk of the gap between my win percentage and theirs. <laughs> 